Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. You might notice that the lighting looks a little different today. I am going to be filming a tutorial using natural light only, so I will not be using my soft boxes, which I usually use to film videos. I actually had one of them blow on me during the week. I went to turn it on because I use them every day to do my makeup because the lighting is just so good. So I turned it on and nothing happened. Hi, editing Tanika here. So get this, the light bulb wasn't broken. I just didn't have the PowerPoint plugged in. <laughs> How embarrassing. Also embarrassing, I didn't mean to say blow on me. <laughs> okay, bye. And I was like, I knew this day would come. So anyway, I've ordered another one. So instead of sitting around and not filming, I thought, let me see what I can do with this. So hopefully this lighting is okay. I always try and be very real with you guys about my skin, about the texture, breakouts, and just what makeup really looks like when it's sitting on your skin. I don't like to over edit my Instagram pictures and I don't use filters on my YouTube videos. So I thought that this would be a great opportunity to show you really close up in natural light what the makeup looks like on my skin. So I am just going to be doing kind of like a natural, <laughs> I say natural but my like everyday kind of makeup look so after all that rambling if you're excited for this video make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching and let's get into it so I feel like my skin is pretty clear at the moment I did get this monster pimp yesterday but the rest of my face is looking all right I do have quite large pores around my nose here I get quite a few blackheads on my nose but my skin is feeling quite soft so I'm happy with that as you can see, I do have a bit of redness throughout. That is quite normal for me. So yeah. Oh my God, I'm wearing jeans today and they keep rubbing against my chair and making like a squeaky noise. I usually have like trackies on, so <laughs> maybe I need to go put my PJs back on. So I'm going to start out with my L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness. To blend this out, I like to use a stippling brush. This one is from Real Techniques. I've had it for years now. Do your guys' Real Techniques brushes get real manky on the handles? Oh, like the ones I've had for a long time, it's just like a makeup buildup. And every time I wash them, I try and get it off, but because it's rubber, it it's really on there. <laughs> So that primer on its own has done a pretty good job at neutralizing that big pimp, but I still am going to go in and cover it up a little further. I've got my Astralis Color Click Green Concealer and my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Chantilly. This concealer I love for covering up blemishes. So I'm just going to take a brush and a little bit of that green concealer and just lightly pat that onto the blemish. And then with a tiny bit of concealer, I'm just going to go over that. When you're covering blemishes, just remember that you can cover the redness, but you cannot cover the texture. That's where I feel like a lot of people get a bit down when it comes to covering heavy breakouts because texture, you can't hide that, especially when it's a big pimple. Like even this one, I did squeeze it yesterday because it was like big and yellow and I'm a pimple squeezer. So it is starting to heal, but it's not completely smooth. It's a little bit scabby. So no matter what I do, I'm going to be able to see that. So if I come up nice and close here, you can see the pimple just above my brush there. So the redness is covered, but obviously you can still see the texture. Now my bags under my eyes are looking a little how you going today. So I'm going to go in with the NYX Dark Circle Color Corrector. I love this product because it comes in a few different shades, so you can find one that's going to match your skin tone. When covering dark circles, I know you see a lot of people on Instagram like go in with this really bright orange or like they use a red lipstick, but if you're super fair, that's just not going to work for you. So that's why I love this product because as you can see, it is quite a light peach tone and it's just going to do the job of color correcting those dark circles. So I just dip my finger in and then tap that under the eye. Now you don't have to go in with a color corrector, of course. I like to because I find 
I use less concealer. I'm not putting on layers and layers of concealer trying to cover these dark circles because I've gone in with a layer of a color corrector that's done the hard work for me. And then I can just use my concealer to get that nice flawless look. I was a little sick last week, so I'm still like shaking off the last of the whole nasal issues. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little bit run down and tired. Like I just want to go and have a nap right about now, especially because it's very gloomy outside. And when it's gloomy, all I want to do is rug up in bed or on the couch with some salt and chips and watch some TV. Okay, so that is all for color correcting. Next, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is in the shade 0.5N Porcelain. I am on to tipping it out. I'm almost done with this one. So I've got my little palette here. Now I feel like my skin is looking a little bit dull, so I'm going to mix a glowy primer in with my foundation. So I've got the Glow Cherie by L'Oreal. So I'm just going to put that on my palette and mix it in. The True Match foundation does already have quite a satin matte finish. It does look very hydrated and healthy on the skin, but I just wanna go that little one step further. All right, I'm going in with my Beauty Blender sponge. I really need a new one, but I've heard that they may have changed them. A few people have said they just don't feel the same. And look, the Beauty Blender is my favorite sponge. I really don't think there's anything else that compares. Like, no matter what people say, everything else is harder than the Beauty Blender. But yeah, I've been hearing that it doesn't feel the same. So, oh my God, no thank you. I'm not paying $30. For a sponge that ain't gonna be the same oh my god have you guys watched the home edit on netflix <laughs> i am obsessed i've always loved organizing and like putting everything into different containers and having little compartments and watching the home edit was just like finding people that understand me <laughs> Oh my God, I binged it so quickly. And then I found out that they had a little YouTube series as well called Manage the Mess or something like that. And so I watched all of that as well. And oh my God, I just, I love watching people organize their things. It is just so satisfying. And it is just making me so bloody excited for our new house. I am going to go crazy with the organizing. Like Clinton doesn't know what he's in for. Like, I don't even know what I'm in for. Oh my God. Okay, so here is what one layer of that foundation looks like. See how it looks rather glowy on my cheek there. I can still see some pigmentation, which I don't mind, but I do have a little bit of foundation left on my palette. So I'm just going to go in with a second layer. Right, so this is what it looks like with the second layer. And here's just a shot of my pimple. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. I have absolutely been loving this. So this shade is Light Ivory. I am just going to let that dry down for a minute because I find it helps with the coverage. I'm not going to set with powder just yet because I want to go in with some more cream products, starting with my Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. I cannot put this down. Like, ugh, it's looking a little bit manky, but it just proves that I use it all the time, right? I'm going in with my Sigma F74 Air Domed Buffer Brush. I've been loving this for cream bronzer because it's a duo fiber. It applies the product very lightly and you can also build it up and it doesn't disturb the foundation underneath. So that's most important. I would love to know if you guys have any other cream bronzer recommendations. This is the only one I've tried and I friggin love it. So if you have any that you love, I would love to know, especially if they are on the more affordable side. I actually have been eyeing off the 
is it like a sister brand of ColourPop or something? Soul? And they just released the Balm Bronzers. Oh, they look so freaking good. But shipping to Australia, oh, actually it's only $9, but then you have to convert it from US to Australian. And I think to get the one bronzer, it ended up being like over $40, including shipping. And I was just like, no. <laughs> And then I always like to get my sponge with nothing on it and just pat around the edges to make sure it's all blended. I am going to go in with a cream blush as well, but I think I might actually powder under my eyes. So I'm just going to blend out any creases before I go in with the powder. And of course I'm using my Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder. I am going to be using a brush because I just want a very light application of this. And then for blush, I have my Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. This is the shade Bubbly, which is a very bright bubblegum pink. And then I have Pinched, which is more of a muted coral. Neither of them are my perfect shade. So I am just going to mix them a little bit. So again, I've just got some on my palette. I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. And I like to spread it out on the palette because then when I go in with my brush, I'm getting an even application. So this is the Sigma F53 Contour and Blush Brush. I have been obsessed with this for my cream blushes. It just blends them all out so beautifully and evenly. Oh my God, this seriously changed my cream blush game. If you didn't know, I am actually a Sigma affiliate, so I do have a discount code you can use. I'll put it on the screen and I will have links to the brushes I mentioned in the description box below as well. And I just like to pat very, very lightly. This way I just get a nice even application and I'm not going in too heavy handed so I'm not getting like a bulk amount of pigment where I don't want it. These Flower Beauty blushes are very lightweight and more natural anyway so I'm not really going to go too heavy. Okay so this is what my skin is looking like. I'm going to go in with highlighter now and I'll be using a cream product. This is the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Lit From Within Illuminating Balm. This leaves the most gorgeous wet look glossy glow. I actually recently did a video talking about my favorite highlighters for fair skin. So I'll have that link down below if you want to go watch. I've got a mix of powders and cream products in there, all with slightly varying undertones and different finishes as well. So anyway, I'm going to go in with the bum of my sponge and dig that in there because I am almost out. And then just tap that onto the high points of my cheeks. Now before I go in and do my eyes and brows, I am going to spray a little bit of my L'Oreal Shake and Glow Luminous Setting Spray. Oh my god, you guys, this stuff is amazing. Ready for the mist? Oh, so gentle. <laughs> it just leaves such a radiant glow to the skin without looking over dewy or oily. I freaking love it. Okay, on to brows. I did give them a little at home wax and tint the other day. So they're not too out of control. I'm just going to brush them up into place. I'm using the Essence Gimme Brow. I love this product. I feel like it just adds so much volume and like bushiness to the brow that I don't really have. And then in with my Emco Beauty Feathering Brow Pen. If you haven't heard me rave about this yet, look. It's amazing, okay? I love myself a brow pen. I feel like it just makes the brows look so much more natural. And especially when I am going for this more natural look, it's nicer to have fluffy brows than like a block brow, in my opinion, on myself. So I'm just going to start drawing little strokes throughout the sparse spots in my brows.
Now, I usually go in with this product here. It's the Maybelline Color Tattoo. It's a cream eyeshadow in the shade On and Bronze. But I just, I'm not feeling it today. Let me just swatch it for you though so you can see. I love this for a quick and easy eyeshadow look. I literally just put it over my entire lid, blend it up into the crease, and then also put a little bit on the lower lash line. But what I think I might do instead is just go in with a little powder bronzer and just run that under the lower lash line. I always like to just have a bit of color on the lower lash line. I feel like when it's just mascara, it looks a little, I don't even really know how to explain it, but I just don't like it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of bronzer and run that under there, and then I'm going in with some mascara. And then for mascara, I'll be using my L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic in the brown. I love this for more natural looking makeup because it's not as harsh as a black mascara. And then for lips, I'm just going to go in with a nude liner. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational in the shade Nude Whisper. And then go over with the ColourPop Gloss in the shade Fairy Floss. All right, guys, well, this is the finished makeup look. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs out. Thumbs out. <laughs> How long have I been doing this? <laughs> All right, guys, well, this is the finished makeup look. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. I would love it if you'd leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this look and the natural lighting situation. I hope you don't mind the whole up close and personal thing. Whenever I sit back, see how it gets really dark and shadowy? I'm not here for that, so hello. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I make tons of content related to fair skin and affordable products. And if you don't already, make sure you turn that notification bell on so you can see every time I upload. I do try and stick to a Wednesday, Sunday schedule, but sometimes I miss an upload. So just make sure you've got that notification bell on so you can see when a new video is uploaded. All right. Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day wherever you are. You are all staying safe. I think I am going to make myself a coffee because it's, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock and I haven't had one yet. And then I'm going to binge organizing videos on YouTube and look at Pinterest and the container store website. So... <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.